I try to be very rational about things and even emotions, because in the end also emotions are, I think, you know, based on biology, chemistry. Um, so maybe this is a way how maybe I see sometimes the world, yeah. But we're still very human, so sometimes it's just <laughs> emotions get through. But maybe this is, this is a part of, you know, that shaped me just by doing a lot of science. So we are interested in understanding how foreign DNA, DNA from pathogens such as viruses or bacteria, are being sensed by our immune system, how they trigger an innate immune response. Um, and we're particularly focusing on the molecular mechanism, the steps that link the sensing to the initiation of an immune response. If you think about this, DNA is a definition of life. Then there is this paradox situation that DNA on the one hand is used as a signal for the initiation of an innate immune response, but then our cells are replete of self-DNA. So how can this work together? And we now know that our cells have evolved mechanisms that help them to make this distinction between infectious conditions and non-infectious conditions. However, sometimes these mechanisms, which you could liken to safeguard mechanisms or checkpoints, these are corrupted or disrupted in certain disease contexts. And then our own DNA can also stimulate an innate immune response. And we know today that innate DNA sensing, in general innate immunity, is a driving force of many non-infectious diseases, non-infectious chronic diseases ranging from neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular diseases, metabolic disorders, but also more classical autoimmune diseases such as lupus. Based on, on this research, there is now a lot of interest in trying to find ways to, to block this mechanism in contexts of inflammatory diseases because it's thought that this might benefit disease outcome by blocking collateral inflammatory reactions. In contrast to inflammatory disorders, we know that in the context of cancer, inflammatory reactions are actually dampened or suppressed. And the idea is now that bringing in therapeutically mechanisms of innate immunity in a cancer context can stimulate this natural type of anti-cancer immune response that the cancer has tried to overcome. I'm grateful that I'm being awarded this prize and um, I um, also maybe explicitly like to mention that um, it is also a big motivation for, for me for the future. Um, to continue doing research, maybe to continue doing fundamental research also, um, which is sometimes not that trivial and straightforward. It recognizes the work that I had been pursuing together with my team for the past decades. Um, and so I think this is, you know, really a, an outstanding recognition um, because of its immense prestige.